Kalki House is definitely in the race to buy Tata Steel's UK assets. That's the word coming in straight from the horse's mouth. Speaking to CNBC TV 18, Sanjay Suri at one of his steel plants in Wales, Sanjeev Gupta, the founder and chairman of Liberty House, who's fast becoming the next Lakshmi Mittal in UK, believes that there is a future for UK steel sector as long as it's made from scrap metal. Here's a small slice from that conversation. I can't say a great deal about the process because we are in a, a, a legally binding, exclusive, uh, I mean, uh, non-disclosure agreement. But, but uh, we are en engaged. We have uh, uh, put together a panel of experts. They are uh, doing, still doing their analysis, and uh, we will look. You know, we will. Uh, it, it requires quite some, quite some time and quite some work. But we will make an attempt at uh, making a bit for the assets. So you will be making a bid for it, it is our intention. Tata Steel. Yes, yes, and you had stated uh, your intention a while back, but from a statement of intention to a letter of intent is not a long distance. When are we likely to see the second? So the LOIs are due, as everybody knows, it's public information, they're due next week. Uh, so we will be submitting our, we will be submitting our LOI. So you will be submitting the letter of intent next week yes. to buy Tata Steel? Yes. All of Tata Steel? I, I, as I said, we are in an NDA situation, so I will not say too much. But we have a panel of experts working, doing all the analysis, and we'll, we will be submitting a bid next week. Right. But Tata has said, and I think the government have also indicated, that uh, they are not looking at a piecemeal sale yes. of, of, of those assets. So you are still considering that? Yes. We know we're not, we are, I mean, in all likelihood, we are submitting a bid for all the assets. Uh, that is our intention. And that will be all of the plants, whether Port Talbot or in the Midlands or in the North? Yes. Correct. All of them? Yes. And all of the elements in all of the plants? All of, all of the business for sale, yes. Right. You know, we, we, we've been hearing about the blast furnace versus arc furnace debate. Tell us in a nutshell, what is that debate about? In a nutshell, I mean, I've spoken about it quite a bit already, so I won't uh, go into a lot of detail. But in a nutshell, one melts scrap, uh, domestically generated scrap and make steel from that route, and, uh, which is through an arc furnace, uh, electric arc furnace. And that is a blast furnace that Tata found unprofitable to run? No, that, what I just described is an electric arc furnace, mm -hmm. which is melting domestic scrap. Right. And uh, a blast furnace makes primary steel from iron ore and coal, which is imported. Right, which is what Tata has found unsustainable. Yes. Yes. Correct. And, and, and when you look at the whole, the whole works, and you look to buy the whole works, you would look to buy the blast furnace as well and run it. Yes. No, I mean, our contention, as you know, which has been stated quite clearly, is that we would analyze the opportunity to convert some or all of the blast furnaces to our furnaces over time. With no redundancies? Yes. Because the number of, if you do, if you are successfully able to convert from one to the other, there is no need for redundancies because you need more or less equal number of people in both the processes. All right. Uh, then the nifty. She joins in with a complete roundup of all the commodity as well as currency market action. Anisha, over to you. Thank you so much for that. Well, the major thing buzzing in the commodity space really clearly has to be sugar. Markets are anticipating a notification to come in from the food ministry today. Remember, we have been following that news on how a sugar stock limit can come into the Indian market.